giving children and adolescents a voice, empowering them to use a medium of film and television to air their views and opinion in accordance with the provision of the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child was the focus of a Barbados Adolescent Media Network workshop that saw participants from over five secondary schools in Barbados. The workshop enables students to learn various aspects of journalism, to include filmmaking, interviewing skills, script writing, editing, and video production. On the first day, the students learned about the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child. They also received a brief history on reporting as well as the elements of a television feature. Later in the day, the students were placed into groups where they participated in practical exercises concerning issues such as mental abuse, emotional abuse, drugs and alcohol, and peer pressure. To close the day, they received instruction in the theory of video production. What is the workshop all about? It is about journalism and awareness. What interests you most about the workshop? Video works. What do you plan to take away from this workshop? I plan to take away like learning about the camera. So I would like if I want to learn about it in later in life, I have an idea. Day two began with the students presenting summaries of news clips they required to research as part of their homework assignment from the previous day. They then tried the process of scripting and were taught how to construct a backstory. In addition, the students practiced their interview skills in mock sessions with each other. How do you feel in participating in the backstory of this, of the part this week? Well, it's been a great opportunity for me. And it's been a great opportunity. I was going to see how all the other groups are being, have been and what they've been doing. So, please be about the camera so I could film what you're doing. This is my body and no one should be allowed to force me to be felt it. My name is Jasmine Jones. Oh. I will speak out. Oh. I speak out. <laughs> it was good. Don't mean that she was doing the brush thing and all the body went in my nose and the butt. <laughs> <laughs> Subsequently, they created a list of questions to be asked in an interview with Mr. Tom Olson, UNICEF representative to Barbados and the OECS. What are some of your general expectations of this journalism workshop for children in Barbados? Well, I think it's twofold. One is for the young journalists like yourself who will learn, uh, evolve, develop, uh, and be a strong voice uh, and having knowledge uh, around child rights issues. So that is one thing which also will benefit yourself. But of course it will also benefit the, the organization, uh, UNICEF itself. Uh, we believe in, uh, in youth uh, adolescence participation. We believe that youth and adolescents should have a strong voice. And we believe that uh, issues related to, to young people's development should be addressed also by young people themselves. Students arrived bright and early on day three. The excitement was very evident as today was the day that they would be going on location for filming. The day commenced with a tutorial on maker application for a camera. At the end of the tutorial, the students assembled in front of the UN house for a photo session before they made their way to the bus that would take them on location for filming at the Garrison Secondary School. Upon arrival, the students separated into three groups, where each group focused on their individual projects. Group A filmed their drama piece on peer pressure, while Group B recorded their piece on bullying. Group C works on the bad story for the day. Some students who were not placed in groups were allowed to work behind the camera and receive practical training, including lighting and acting skills, and were able to practice what they had learned about videography. Are you gonna be sleeping again? But when you fight with a company, you come with a thing. Alright, so remember when you start, we actually see something happens and nothing happens. So, what have your group been doing? The, we have had <laughs> Miss Bay or Bullying in okay. school. Okay. What is your play in the no, state? I was supposed to be the cute little innocent little girl that got beat up by a bully and run to the field as possible. What next for UNICEF regarding taking such a program to other OECS states? 
Actually, this is the first step. So what we're looking at is to taking in so we can, within a certain amount of time, so we can covering the entire Eastern Caribbean, including Trinidad and, and, and Tobago as well. Uh, but the immediate next step, uh, step is to take it into Dominica and, uh, and to other uh, Eastern Caribbean uh, countries.